So my air conditioning isn't working upstairs and it is like 80 degrees up here. So if I look sweaty or dewy, it could be the makeup or it could be that I'm actually sweating. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a makeup haul of tons of amazing new makeup products, things that I bought, things that were sent to me. It's a combination of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Some really, really exciting things. I've been dying to play with this stuff, so I wanted to wait until I filmed the video before I got my hands on it. I mean, I'm gonna mention this lipstick, which I already just applied right now, but besides that, I haven't touched any of these products yet, so let's get into it. So first, I got the Carly Bible Palette from BH Cosmetics. I've been dying to try this. I've heard a lot about it. Here it is. Try not to blind you. But this is her collaboration with BH Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is the first time I'm opening it. So here is the palette. Look at how gorgeous those highlights look amazing. I'm going to have to swatch these. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. Holy, I haven't tried many products from BH Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, these are like really pigmented. Next is another collaboration, and this is with BH Cosmetics and Shannon or Shanix. Oh, look at how gorgeous. This is the 18 color eyeshadow and lipstick palette. Um, I think it's so awesome to see YouTubers creating products with brands. Like, honestly, it makes me so happy and proud because, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all a family, and this is amazing. Oh, is it double-sided? Oh, that's so cool. So on one side you have the eyeshadows. These are so pretty. And they're really pigmented. And on the other side you have the lipstick palette. That is so bright and pretty. I'm not really big on lipsticks and palettes, so I don't know how much use I would get out of that. It's just not really my thing, but the colors are really, really pretty. So next I have the It Cosmetics Contour Palette. It's called the You Sculpted Palette. I don't know why my camera is going in and out of focus. I am really sorry. Is it the blue lipstick? Does my camera not like the blue lipstick? We'll get over it. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside. It has a really good array of tones, like cool to neutral. Then you have a little bit warmer of a neutral right here. But I like that none of them are too, too warm. The colors are really, really stunning. I feel like I would get the most use out of these two in the middle. Um, these are so, so, so gorgeous. Let's do a little swatch. Oh my gosh, they're so creamy. Oh, look at that. Let's do this one. Those are extremely pigmented, you guys. Doesn't really smell like anything. I always smell products. I'm not the only one that smells my makeup. And it comes with a little pamphlet on the back. I know I showed this on Snapchat, but it has a whole body contour thing on here where like if you want to, like this little thing comes out, like if you want to contour your butt and your legs, like if you want to contour your butt, they got you covered. And I also got this brush from It Cosmetics. This is the Heavenly Luxe Angle Radiance Number no. 10 brush, and it's extremely soft. My friend loves It Cosmetics brushes, so I've been dying to try these out. Next, I have the Glow Enhancer by Elsie. This is a new product from them. I tried their foundation at IMATS, I think it was in 2015, I believe, when I went, and the foundation is amazing. I've used it a lot, and I really, really liked it. Um, this is a dry face oil, and you guys know. Anything that glows, I am down for. Oh my, look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, like a mini snow globe. This is a lightweight dry oil that softens the skin while illuminating it with tiny shimmering minerals. Infused with rich oils, the glow enhancer helps nourish and protect the skin, offering antioxidant, antibacterial, and anti-aging properties. Um, yes, can I just like pour this all over my body? So I'm not gonna swatch this right now because I'm gonna be tempted to put it all over my body. And we both know that's not gonna that's not gonna end well because I'm just gonna bathe in it. But I'll try to use it in a tutorial or I'm gonna test it out and see how I like it. If you guys want a Snapchat video of it, whatever, let your girl know. But I feel like if I start it right now, I'm not gonna be able to stop. Next is this little package from Smashbox, and these are their new color correctors. Man, color correcting is blowing up. Um, I'm not a big color corrector except for underneath of my eyes. You guys know I use the Becca color corrector, um, but. Here are these little babies. Look, look, look. They have a dark orange one. They have a purple one. They have a green one, which is great for acne. And then they also have a light peach one. So funny little story. I've swatched these in stores and they're super creamy. They feel amazing on the skin. Um, I went to Sephora with one of my friends last week and she was looking for a corrector to cover up one of her tattoos and then to put foundation concealer on top of it. So we had swatched the peach one and then also the dark orange one for the darkness of her tattoo and this peach one covered it up so so well. And then she put like the Kat Von D foundation over it and you could barely see her tattoo. So this is what it looks like and I'll show you a little swatch. They're super creamy like do you see how creamy that is 
and they blend out so easily into the skin. Next, I got this Makeup Forever box of their new eyeliners. If I'm looking at my viewfinder a lot, I'm sorry, but my camera keeps going in and out of focus, and I'm not sure what the problem is. See what it was. This is their collaboration with Charlie XCX. Look at how gorgeous these colors are. I'll do an up close like visual of these. They come in metallic and then also sheens. Look at this green color. It is so stunning. Oh my gosh, so fun. Look at that color. That is so cool. I'm going to swatch this purple one too. They are so creamy. This olive color though is everything. So next I have this beautiful display of Becca's new luminous blushes. Their blushes are amazing. I've purchased a few of them in the past and I've used them pretty religiously because I feel like the colors they have are pretty staple colors. Um, I really like Damselfly. There's another one that I really like. I can't remember what it's called. These are luminous blushes, which mean they have a little bit of a sheen. You can also use them as a blush topper to like a matte blush. I love blushes that have a sheen to them because they just add a glow to the face. And if you're not big on highlighting, but you still want like a little bit of a glow, luminous blushes are perfect. This one is Fox Glove. It's a bright pink color. This is Dahlia, which is a cranberry shade. This would be gorgeous with the tan. This shade is blushed copper, which would be a beautiful bronzer topper, and especially on darker skin tones, this color would be amazing. This is Camellia, which is another bright pink color. This is Tiger Lily, which is definitely my favorite from the bunch so far because it's a peachy color. I love peachy blushes, especially for spring and summer. They just make your skin look so gorgeous. I can't even explain it, but you know what I'm saying? Then last is Snapdragon, which is a fierce coral shade, again, for summer with a tan. Couldn't go wrong. So next I have the new Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They launched 18 new colors, nine matte and nine shimmer. So I'm gonna go through and show you them. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They're so affordable and they're just such good quality. So the single pans are $6. You can get a complete bundle of all of them for 100. So that's 18 colors for 100 or you can get just the matte or just the shimmer, nine each for $52. And the pans are huge and the quality is just as good as Anastasia or MAC or any of those more expensive brands. So first I'm gonna show you the matte colors and this one is Fashion Addict. It's a bright purple color. This is Hopscotch, which is a lavender. This is Taboo, which is a dark brown with a purple undertone. Sand Dollar, which is a taupe gray. Friend Zone, which is a darker taupe gray. That name is everything. This is Brownie Points, which is an even darker taupe with more of a brown undertone. Wild West, which is a rosy brown. Tiki Hut, which is a camel color. I love this color, it's so, so pretty. And the last matte is Tuscan Sun, which is a salmon shade. I'm gonna show you how easy these swatch. So this is Tiki Hut. Oh, so pretty. And then I'm also gonna swatch Wild West because these are my two favorite from the matte colors. So, so pretty. Moving on to the shimmer colors. This is called Rebel and it's a dusty purple color. It looks more gray on camera, but it has like a purple iridescence in person. This is Sin City, which is a bright tangerine. Hot Pants, which is an orchid. These names are so cute. I'm trying to keep a serious face while reading these names, but they're so adorable. Pillow Talk, which is a lilac with a silver finish. Amanda, which is an olive created after Amanda. Totally kidding. Um, this one is called Venom, which is a deep mossy green, but you guys know I love olive. I'm gonna have to swatch this in a second. Casino, which is a bright gold. Anarchy, which is a cranberry. Toxic, which is an eggplant purple. Then the last shimmery eyeshadow is Chit Chat, which is a periwinkle. So I'm gonna swatch Venom for sure. You guys knew I was gonna do that. Look at how stunning. And then I'll also swatch Sin City. Look at how beautiful, you guys. Okay, I'm done. I also got the Tartist Blush Palette. Look at this packaging. It is stunning. Like, it just reminds me of spring. And here are all the blushes. I love Tarte blushes. Their blushes are made with Amazonian clay, so if you have oily skin, they'll be your best friend. They're not gonna go anywhere. But even if you have dry skin, like, they just stay put, and they're so long wearing. So the colors that come in here are Live, Laugh, Love, Dream. How cute is that? That is so cute. The rest of the products I have are all lip products. Yes, my favorite part. ColourPop just launched their Matte X Lippy Sticks. I have this little card on them, so I'm just gonna kind of read to what they are. Um, these were created to provide high intensity, full coverage pigment with one stroke application. Um, it's a long wearing formula that's smooth and velvety without any dragging or pulling, but it has a super matte finish. This packaging is so cute. They're little drawers and the lippies like, oh my gosh, I die. There are 16 shades, you guys. 
That is insane. ColourPop doing it again. I'm just going to swatch a few of them on my hands for you guys. Um, this one is called Cami. It looks really pretty. Oh, this is pretty. So let's give it a... Oh my gosh. This one is called She Bad. Okay, this I did a couple swipes. Really pretty nude color. This one is called Climax. And I did a couple strokes. It's really pretty, similar to what I have on. This one is called Backup. So there is Backup, the berry color. The last one I'm going to swatch is called Chateau. This color is stunning. Like, I cannot wait to wear that. If you guys want a more in-depth review on those lip products or anything that I mentioned, let me know. I just don't want to go through and swatch all of these right now because I just want to get an idea for the formula and kind of show you what's new out there because, like I said, I have a lot of makeup and I don't want this video to be too long. But, like, if you guys want a full swatch video of those, let me know what you want to see down in the down bar. The next product I have is super exciting, and it's the Over Cosmetics and Manny collab. Holy crap, I've been waiting to swatch these. I cannot wait. I'm so proud of you, Manny. I cannot wait. Like, I'm so excited. So the first one is called Hypno, and this color is gorgeous. It's like a rosy color, but it's got a little bit of a brown in there, I feel like. Oh my gosh. Manny, are you kidding me right now? Look at how gorgeous that is. Next is Charmed, which is a nude pink shade. This is my kind of color without a doubt. This color will suit a lot of skin tones because it's not like a wash you out kind of nude. It's got a lot of pink in it. It is so pretty. The last color is the lightest nude and this is in the shade Aries. So there is Aries. It's a lot more of a peachy nude. You can see just how dark Charmed looks compared to Aries. But these are so pretty. I think my favorite for sure is Hypno which is the darkest one. For sure. Next I have the new Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks. I saw these at my Sephora and I picked them up. I wanted to buy more colors but I wanted to test them out first. I didn't want to like go crazy and then have all these lipsticks that I'm never going to use. But I'm wearing this one right now. I'm wearing the blue one which is called, what's it called? Who's Zoom and Who? Which is this one. And this is the first time I've ever worn these. So far it feels really really nice. I can tell it like flaking a little bit on the inner part of my mouth. But I mean, this color is bomb, you guys. I messed up a little bit on the inner corners of my mouth, so I'm hoping it don't look horrendous throughout this video. But besides that, like, the color's bomb. And then I also picked up this shade Drop Dead Red. It's a gorgeous, like, deep, dark wine color. And these are extremely pigmented. They come with a little Dofa applicator. Oh my gosh, I die. This color is gorgeous. I feel like people think you can only wear dark reds during the fall time, but honestly, with like gold eyes, tan skin, or just tan dewy skin with just lashes and a dark red lip, I love that for summertime. And I got this color because it reminds me of Heather's from Anastasia, which is a red color that I love, so I'm interested to see how it wears. Then I also got the shade Cool Girl. This was my favorite of the nudes. I also wanted another one they had. I think it was called Queen Bee. It was more of like a mauve color, kind of like stone from Dose of Colors, but my Sephora was sold out, so I was only able to grab this one. But this color is stunning. It kind of reminds me of kind of like a cooler version of Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star. I mean, it is gorgeous. When I'm testing out liquid lipsticks at Sephora before I buy them, I'll like swatch them on my hand, walk around and see how they dry. And these dried to such a matte finish. Like, it was incredible. And they were really hard to get off, which means they're gonna be really hard to get off my lips, which means they're probably not gonna budge during the day, so. That's, that's a yes for me. So I also got this cute little container of the new Tarte um, Glossy Lip Paints. Hello. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw that these were like glued to this little container. So whenever I took them off the bottom, it took the stickers of the names of the colors off of them. So I don't know what any of the colors are, but I can show you some of them. The formula is very similar to the Anastasia lip glosses. Like they're really thick and pigmented. Like, you can see, like, that's not running anywhere. Like, that is staying put. I'm going to swatch this berry color, too. Again, I don't know what it's called, but... Oh, my gosh, you're so pretty. I love lip gloss. I love any kind of lip products, let's be honest. Look at how beautiful those are, though. Look at this nude shade. That is stunning. I feel so bad that I can't tell you what these are called. I am so sorry. This is more of a cool nude. Like, you can see how it has... Um, it's right here. You can see it, how much cooler it is but they're very glossy. So that's it. That's everything from my haul. Um, I'm hoping this video isn't too long. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out.